Hello, and welcome to Quick Looks at the Casual Hour. My name is Bobby. Joining me for this quick look of Wild Hearts is Johnny Amazich. Johnny, Hello. how are you feeling? I'm feeling just fine. Thank you very much. This You're very rules. welcome. This game does rule. Uh, Johnny, what is Wild Hearts? Uh, Wild Hearts is a monster hunter like uh, made by, uh, published by EA, developed by Koei Tecmo and Omega Force. Came out on February 16th of 2023 nice. uh, for the PS5, Xbox Series consoles, and PC. And it has, uh, as we experienced last night when we tried to stream it, uh, some technical issues. Yeah, uh, it's a little. A little rough on optimization on PC right now. But it also fucking rules. So it, it really does, man. Like, I anybody who knows us here at the Casual Hour knows that Johnny and I, two thirds of the Casual Hour, are big Monster Hunter. Well, I should say we got really into Monster Hunter World and any you know game that came out in that universe since then. Um, we put hundreds of hours hunting mo monsters together. We've definitely streamed games like that before. This game, I think, has a very good seat at that table and can exist next to Monster Hunter. Yeah. I don't think either game needs to replace the other one, but there's certainly things here that I think people who are avid fans of Monster Hunter will love. And I think that there's some new things here that people who maybe avoided Monster Hunter will Excellent. find a reason to get into the game for some some nice quality of life stuff uh yeah, well, being able to build sure a camp pretty much like wherever thing. you want yeah i forgot to hit the kimono search yeah thing. there's um where are we at right now i'm going to oh, hang on i have to i have to ready up oh did you not accept the quest i hate yeah i hate it doesn't <laughs> pop up it just shows in the top left corner <laughs> um so we're gonna hunt a what's this thing called a spore sap scourge sap scourge a lot of the monsters in this one are a lot more elemental uh the game does some cool stuff we're going to show off after the hunt where you are much like monster hunter you're going to hear us say that a lot but much like monster hunter you are hunting and collecting mats from these creatures but one of the bigger things is, is you're probably seeing there's a lot of really interesting looking shit in this game has a lot of building into it um and we'll show that off as well we're we're gonna go hunt this thing i'm gonna mark it this one and now we'll track it uh monsters are roaming the world like a monster hunter you can see a silhouette of one over there and uh there's another one up that way but it does a really good job as johnny called out with those quality of life so traveling building shit you can see some stuff that we built here from prior fights <sighs> You're still picking up things to come back in, uh, as I was saying earlier, Great. building out and um, upgrading your, your weapon sets. There's about eight different weapons in the game right now, and each armor that you can get has an alignment that you can choose. And one of those would be more favoring the the human characteristics, the other would be more than the nature characteristics. Um, mine's hitching up a little bit. What about yours? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, it's dipping down pretty good right now. That's the thing. Like, multiplayer especially seems to be a problem. Let me see if I can build something here to show off. So there are some things that you can build as I have pulled up right now. I d and it, it's based off of your dragon pit capacity. And you need to upgrade not only the pit, but the elemental parts of it. Because certain weapons require different types of things. You can see their elemental need at the top right corner. Uh, so I need to upgrade a few pits. We don't have that here yet, but I can still traverse, and I'll just use one of these guys. So this stuff gets very, very awesome when you're going to fight, because all these things not only work on, like, getting around the world, but they can be incorporated on how you come and approach a strategy with mm -hmm. with these monsters. So, Like whacking it with the big hammer. Yes. Which we're not the one that's on your back. <laughs> no. Not that one. There's, We heard you like hammers, so we're going to give you a few hammers. Uh, I think we should also call out... I am playing this on PC. Um, I have a very capable rig of playing That's most right, games yep. at 4K Ultra. And uh, so if you see any performance issues on this quick look, any hitching up, 
we wanted to call that out here because those are some things that that go into this all right let's start to build and fight this thing is one of the first monsters they have you fight maybe the second game uh monster you've got a few things that you can you can build to help with that battle uh like johnny called out you can build these boxes and from those boxes you can jump and get the advantage you can then go back to those boxes and if i do another stack right next to it i can then build a bullet oh i built the hammer whoops wrong one <laughs> so that's the big hammer he's talking about uh i've been building that one a whole lot you've got uh four building materials that you can use <laughs> at any given time you can change those out when you get to um your your camp so as you unlock new abilities and we'll show those off here in a second there's a whole skill tree that you can spend a currency and fight god he always does that shit wish there were some earplugs i know that was one of the things you got from the was it the basil guys yeah and monster hunter uh there are two main attacks that you get which is a light and a heavy and then each weapon has more of a specialized uh like i have that kind of swinging hammer attack that i can do here on this thing you can break parts yeah. off monsters which is helpful you've got healing that you can grab and easily replenish uh the building requires threads you can get that by interacting with things in the world or by attacking the monster it'll start to replenish those green highlighted spots on the monster nice hit johnny let me see if i can land a few hits here really quick you can climb the monster and pull that out of it which let me see if i can do that here for the so you get a little shadow colossus with this thing and i'm just gonna say that yeah nice hit all right so now i'm climbing this thing i'm gonna try and get down there to that spot on it all right come on come on oh i fell off shit all right he's running off it looks like so here's a good example of where we would want to build or fly up uh to this climb you have a stamina meter just like those uh monster hunter or other climbing games like breath of the wild maybe that you've ex experienced uh how you holding up over there johnny i'm good i'm coming All right, we're we're doing pretty good on him. I think that we're a bit overpowered for his level. He's a level one. We're, we're using minimum level two gear. All right, so now I'm gonna grab this stuff out of him like I just talked about. So I've got all those extra threads. So I can build a shit ton of stuff right now. And I'll build a giant hammer. Oh, oh my God, holy shit. That was awesome. Yeah. And you can see the uh, alternate mode for the katana I'm using right now, which like oh, yeah, turns into a, a whip almost. Yeah. And it can do some crazy damage. Let's see if I can get a big hit here. Nope, he got the big hit that time. Yeah. It's living. Well, he's, he's mad he's now. big man now when they get mad they the appearance changes they might use some different attacks oh you know, yeah i need like, to heal like when a monster gets enraged in monster Hunter. yeah he's very 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 upset right now get him oh my god i don't care how mad you are hoss Build another hammer and just crush him here. How'd you like this? <laughs> God. Jeez, man, this game is fucking awesome. Heal up. He got me with a sap. So that's his, like, shitty thing he does that, like, is annoying. He'll just fucking hit you with that sap, slow you down. God, it's, he's got. Well, he's, he's not in good shape. Um, no. Too much for you, eh? 
Yeah, so I like the way that it's almost like they are infected or something. Yeah. You know. Uh, here's a good example of how you can extract the thread while you're in the world. You just bust it up. Uh, you can also get this really nice, easy to follow monster tracker. Um, grab all the shit you can. There's going to be materials and stuff that you'd find here. Ooh. Let's see if I can get that other piece off of him. Oh, he's good and pissed off. Gonna keep going for that arm of his. Down there on the arm. Oh man, he rolled over. I missed it. Come on. Oh, damn it. Oh god. Oh shit. He's gonna kill me here. He's gonna kill me here. Yeah, I'm dead. I missed Fuck. Body. <laughs> I couldn't escape it. So this is one of the cool things to show off though. Unlike Monster Hunter, when you would be sent directly back to camp, Johnny had, if you're playing with the group, Johnny has the ability to get up here to me. Uh, that's your cue, Johnny. <laughs> it's to save my ass. Coming, he's, he's, I see, I see. Throw me around like a rag doll, okay. So Johnny can heal me up. Oh God. Oh God, oh God. Thanks. All right, so Johnny, did a heroic effort there to save me. I'll heal back up. And I don't have to leave the fight, which is awesome. I'm right back here. So as we've called out, really cool quality of life stuff. Come on, let me build this up one more time. All right, there we go. Hit him, hit him, hit him. Oh, he moved. Damn it. Fuck. God damn it. I'm about to die again. Okay. Nice. I'm going for the full swing here. Big hit, big hit, big hit. Oh. <laughs> yes. Another hammer for you, bud. God damn it. Oh, he's... He's dead. He'll grab you, man. I'm down. You're down? Oh, shit. Okay. I'm coming. Hey, he's, he's getting pissed, isn't he? he? Yeah, he's pretty mad. Focus. God. Oh no! Come on, you at? There we go. Oh, he's dead. Do that Who's... final blow. All right, here we go. Final blow. <laughs> God. Down for the count. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, so let me do just two more things here in this quick look. Um, I'd like to show off while we're hanging out. So it's going to be taking us back to camp. Uh, I want to show off just a few things about the abilities you can upgrade. I'd like to show off when we get to camp some of the stuff that you can build because we were doing a few things in that that I think are in that hunt that you're probably like, wait, how are they building hammers? How are they doing that stuff? So I just want to do a quick overview of that. And then maybe just a very brief visit to the main world hub to show you all kind of like where you're going to go to get quests and side quests and how, how that all plays out. Because that's the other thing that I'm, I'm finding about this is it's they do a pretty good job of keeping you a bit more streamlined than what a Monster Hunter game does. What I mean by that is it's very easy to see like what you want to hunt. There's portals that you can link up to hunt things much easier. Mm -hmm. Multiplayer uh, is a lot easier. Yes. So this camp, I, I don't want to say it's exactly like, um, like a an Animal Crossing, but you are upgrading things a lot more. These are called Dragon Pits. They're all throughout the world. As you touch them, uh, you're going to see that you need to use certain things to upgrade it. So I'm at this Dragon Pit level one. If I go over, that's going to increase, which is what we need for a lot of the stuff, the Earth Elemental here up to 21 from nine. It does require 
those materials in the bottom right. So if I hold this, I'll unblock this pit more. And if I go over, you can see that I don't have the required materials here that would take this even further up the, the skill tree for that. But now we can build more things. And that is where your materials all come into play here. So these are my, I think these are called dragon uh, materials. You can see in the upper right hand corner, all the recipes to build things. So I'm gonna go into this and I can build a lantern uh, that will decrease my capacity. So you can see that that's a fire elemental. This is an earth elemental to build a tent. Uh, the tents are your fast travel items. You can go anywhere that those are. Here's a forge. And the cool thing is, is we can be anywhere out in the world, as Johnny called out. So if we're somewhere and we need to forge really quick, like I could build one. Uh, here we've got a place to dry ingredients because you are eating for certain things. So I'm just gonna do a bunch of these dried knotweeds. And now um, I don't wanna cancel that. I want to start that. So those are gonna hang out and dry. So I'll have that. This is a, so they call the monsters Kamino, by the way, or Kimono, sorry. I don't, have it. Mm -hmm. I don't know exactly what they say. But on the map now, that has expanded out these circles and they let you see where like certain monsters are that you can just set. And I, if I wanted to go hunt this one, I could request assistance right now and go for it. Um, let me show off what these threads use. So if I hold this down in the upper right hand corner, Johnny, I don't think you've seen this one yet. If I just do B, Y, B. So if that would be one of the jump pads, one of the torches in the jump pad. So B, Y, B. You now get this really fucking awesome bomb. Oh, wow. Uh, that thing rules. Um, the other thing that I can build is a pounder, which that's the big hammer. We've shown that off. I can do a healing mist, which is just three lanterns. It's complete. And now we, if we all hang out around this, that'll heal us up, which is great. The other thing that I've unlocked is an elemental lantern. So if I do X, A, X, which I don't have enough for right now. So I can hold down the left trigger, which is like your hunter vision. These trees over here are glowing green. If I come over here, I can start to extract thread. And that will give us more capacity. So if I come back over here to this thing, which I was building, which was um, the elemental lantern, that was X, A, X. We now get this lantern that comes up that can be used for elemental attacks to increase those. So there's some really cool stuff that you can also, as Johnny was showing off here, train. And that was just a standard three hit combo. You can do that and then I can end training at any time. So you can build these where you want to. And that is a very cool thing. Uh, you're just grabbing shit in the world. All that stuff rules. Um, and if you come back into your camp, you can come over here to this dragon pit as we showed off to upgrade. You can search because we built that, that's doing its thing. Here's the tree to refill your healing. And if you come to the fire, there's a whole, um, I don't know how to pronounce this. What are you, that little creature? Tacoma. Things? Tacoma, yeah. So you can change their forms. These are like the Palicos in Monster Hunter. They'll come out and help you fight. They also increase the amount of thread that you can carry, which is great. Uh, here is also where you can choose to, to hunt next. So if I come into this, it's gonna show me actual missions for hunting these things. Um, yeah, it's so also if you're going- you're grinding mats. Yeah. You no. Know, yeah. Uh, your, this is also gonna be your side quest you can pick up. Um, this is where you can do your online play, but we're gonna go to Minato, which is the hub. I'll just show that really quick and that will wrap up this quick look. And the game does a pretty good job of educating and slowing things down. Um, a lot of it is really kept behind chapter one. And one of the things that they do that I think is smart, they don't unlock some of the more advanced weapons until you get through all their tutorials. Yeah. And, and I th that's I mean, a cool thing. Each of the weapons is just as complex as you would expect from a monster hunter game yeah like um i'm still using the katana which is the starting weapon and really really liking it the the other thing that's really nice is a lot of fast travel that you can go 
So if I, if I want to hop over to the, the forge, uh, let me show you what this looks like here. So if I have a weapon, um, I've built a few hammers. That's been my, my go-to, but I have been messing around with this new Karakuri staff that I just unlocked. I, I like it a whole lot. Um, so let me come into this hammer that I was using. And you can see there's this big ass skill tree, which this is just letting you know what monsters you've unlocked and what you can start to use to, to hunt them. It's gonna show you what you'll you'll grab and what I'll you'll leave this. So like this one over here is actually pretty damn power. This is an herbal maul. Um, it would be one of the stronger hammers I have. I don't have enough of the spore tail to do this, so I could keep this going. If I wanted to go into the equipment details, um, I can do that. But this will let me know how this would balance my my character, but also what its, its, its hits are. And if you look at the bottom, you can see that it has inherit, inherent skills and then the inherited skills. And those inherited skills, I can choose what to bring over with each upgrade. And you can start to really craft out a really impressive weapon. Uh, if I go to forge armor, Metal. Do you have something particular this is going, now I have the helmet turned off, but there is still the abilities that'll come with that. You can see a breakdown of what each armor piece, ah, shit, sorry. I forgot, I have a um, layer I on. I got the deluxe version of the game and it came with these two layered armor pieces. Mm. So I, I can remove that. And now I'm showing you what my armor looks like um, without those things. So if I come into this, and I choose these other armor pieces. It'll show you what it looks like just as you, you hover over it. But at the top there, it has the human path and the kimono uh, path. And this is going to change ever slightly the, the look of the armor, but it's also going to be what the path and alignment does. So down there at the bottom, you can see I'm more centered currently, but this would move me closer to the, the human path. And uh, as Johnny had shared out um, and off off the stream, there's going to be benefits depending on your build and weapon types and how you play if you go a certain path. Like, it'll unlock new abilities, and uh, I think that that's going to be more of, like, the meta kind of in-game focus for people, like, when they really hone in on what they're doing. Yeah, figuring out what build they want, et cetera. Uh, the, the writing is whatever. Um, it's... It's fine voice acting, run but you'll run into like <laughs> the people that you can actually have some like chosen dialogue with. Um, you've done more and this is where you will pick up your quest, you side quest, and turn things in. We I think the graphics are pretty damn good for it. I think it's a nice looking mm -hmm. game. Um, and they've, they've been very, as Johnny called out, they've been very clear that there's work needed and that they're doing that. They put out one patch already that was supposed to help with CPU bottlenecking. But... This is uh, this is Wild Hearts. It's a seventy dollar video game. Uh, it's on PS Five. It's on the Xbox family of consoles, and it's on PC. Um, there is the I think eighty nine dollar version of the video game that came with, or it might be ninety. Or I'm sorry, not a hundred. I can't remember. Uh, yeah. It it comes with some uh in-game cosmetics there's no battle pass stuff that i've seen it gives you some more emotes unlock some of those things as well but johnny anything from from this that you are wanting to highlight uh, share that we haven't no i i would say as much as i love the game it if you can wait it might be yeah. worth waiting for a sale just because it does have some technical issues but if you know and understand that then Hey, dive in. Yeah, I haven't found it to be. You've you've certainly had a lot more issues than than I have, um, but it's not perfect by any stretch, and we we certainly want it to get better. And I think that any of the critical feedback out there for this game right now is very just because people with very capable uh, machines are having a hard time playing a game that is very very good like i think this game is is incredible and uh whoop, not jumping in the water though i perished um it's great so if, if you dig this and you enjoyed what we have to say about it we put quick looks up um every tuesday and thursday on our youtube channel at 10 a.m central we talk about video games we're playing every wednesday night on twitch 
uh, twitch.tv slash casual hour, 10.30 p.m. Central. You can hang out with me, Johnny, and our other co-host, Chase, where we'll be discussing games like Wild Hearts. We also play games on stream, including this one, uh, Friday nights, 10.30 p.m. Central. And then Chase and I do more str strategy, turn-based games on Monday nights. Same, same location, same time, right there on Twitch. Johnny, thanks for hanging out, taking a look at Wild Hearts. It's a game I'm sure we'll be talking about a lot this year. Uh, we hope it gets improved, and we hope that you have enjoyed our time playing it. Take care, everyone.